Welcome to our doctor channel, your destination for reliable medical information, breakthrough research, and insightful discussions on all things health-related. Symptoms of heart problems can vary depending on the specific condition, but here are 10 common symptoms that may indicate a potential heart issue. Chest pain or discomfort, this is one of the most common symptoms of heart problems. It may present as pressure, tightness, or a squeezing sensation in the chest. Shortness of breath, feeling breathless or having difficulty breathing, especially during physical exertion or at rest, can be a sign of heart problems. Fatigue, persistent and unexplained fatigue or weakness, even with minimal physical activity, can be an indication of an underlying heart condition. Rapid or irregular heartbeat, experiencing palpitations, skipped beats, or a racing heart may signal an arrhythmia or other heart rhythm disorder. Dizziness or lightheadedness, feeling faint, dizzy, or lightheaded, especially upon standing up or during physical exertion, can be related to reduced blood flow to the brain due to heart problems. Chest discomfort spreading to the arm, shoulder, jaw, or back, discomfort or pain that radiates from the chest to the left arm, shoulder, jaw, or back can be a sign of a heart attack or angina. Swelling, unexplained swelling in the legs, ankles, feet, or abdomen may indicate a heart problem, as the heart may struggle to pump blood effectively. Persistent cough or wheezing, a chronic cough, especially accompanied by pink or white phlegm, or wheezing could be a result of fluid accumulation in the lungs due to heart failure. Nausea or indigestion, some individuals with heart problems may experience persistent nausea, indigestion, or abdominal discomfort that is unrelated to food. Anxiety or a sense of impending doom. Some people, particularly women, may experience feelings of anxiety, unease, or a sense of impending doom as a symptom of heart problems. It is important to note that these symptoms can be caused by various conditions, not solely heart problems. If you experience any of these symptoms, it is crucial to consult with a healthcare professional for an accurate diagnosis and appropriate medical advice. Prompt medical attention is especially important if the symptoms are severe or accompanied by chest pain or difficulty breathing. Causes There are various causes of heart problems, and they can vary depending on the specific condition. Some common causes include Coronary artery disease, CAD, the most common cause of heart problems is CAD, which occurs when the arteries supplying blood to the heart become narrowed or blocked due to the buildup of plaque. This restricts blood flow to the heart, leading to various heart conditions. Heart attack, a heart attack, also known as myocardial infarction, occurs when there is a sudden blockage of blood flow to the heart. This is often caused by a blood clot forming in a narrowed coronary artery, leading to damage or death of the heart muscle. High blood pressure, prolonged high blood pressure, hypertension, can strain the heart and arteries, leading to heart problems such as heart failure, coronary artery disease, and abnormal heart rhythms. Heart valve disorders, heart valve disorders can be caused by congenital heart defects, infection, age-related changes, or other conditions. They can affect the valve's ability to open and close properly, leading to conditions like valve stenosis, narrowing, or valve regurgitation, leaking. Cardiomyopathy. Cardiomyopathy refers to diseases that affect the heart muscle, causing it to become weakened, thickened, or stiff. These conditions can be inherited or acquired due to various factors like infections, drug abuse, or other underlying health conditions. Congenital heart defects. Some individuals are born with structural heart abnormalities that can affect the heart's function, blood flow, or valves. These defects can range from minor to severe and may require medical intervention or surgery. Arrhythmias. Arrhythmias are abnormal heart rhythms that can be caused by various factors, including coronary artery disease, heart attack, high blood pressure, certain medications, electrolyte imbalances, or structural abnormalities in the heart. Heart failure. Heart failure occurs when the heart cannot pump blood effectively, 
leading to symptoms like fatigue, shortness of breath, and fluid retention. It can result from various causes, including CAD, high blood pressure, heart valve disorders, or previous heart attacks. Other factors, other factors that can contribute to heart problems include smoking, obesity, diabetes, a sedentary lifestyle, unhealthy diet, excessive alcohol consumption, stress, and certain medications or substances. It's important to note that these causes are not exhaustive, and each heart problem may have specific underlying causes or risk factors. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle, managing risk factors, and seeking regular medical care can help prevent or manage heart problems effectively. Treatment The treatment of heart disease depends on the specific type and severity of the condition. Here are some common treatment approaches for heart disease. Lifestyle changes. Adopting a heart-healthy lifestyle is crucial in managing and preventing heart disease. This includes maintaining a balanced diet low in saturated and trans fats, engaging in regular physical activity, quitting smoking, managing stress levels, and maintaining a healthy weight. Medications. Various medications may be prescribed to manage heart disease. These can include medications to control blood pressure, reduce cholesterol levels, manage heart rhythm abnormalities, improve heart function, and prevent blood clots, among others. Interventional procedures. In certain cases, interventional procedures may be necessary. These can include angioplasty and stenting to open narrowed or blocked arteries, coronary artery bypass grafting, CABG, to bypass blocked coronary arteries, or procedures to repair or replace malfunctioning heart valves. Cardiac rehabilitation. Cardiac rehabilitation programs can help individuals with heart disease recover, improve their cardiovascular health, and reduce the risk of future heart issues. These programs typically involve supervised exercise, education on heart-healthy living, and support for managing risk factors. Implantable devices. Some individuals with heart disease may require the use of implantable devices. Examples include pacemakers to regulate heart rhythm, implantable cardioverter defibrillators, ICDs, to monitor and correct abnormal heart rhythms, and left ventricular assist devices, LVADs, to help the heart pump blood in cases of severe heart failure. Surgery. In more severe cases, surgery may be necessary. This can involve procedures such as heart valve repair or replacement, heart transplant in cases of end-stage heart failure, or other corrective surgeries depending on the specific condition. Treatment plans are individualized based on the specific type of heart disease, its severity, and the patient's overall health. It is important for individuals with heart disease to work closely with their healthcare team to develop a comprehensive treatment plan that addresses their specific needs. Regular follow-up appointments and adherence to the prescribed treatment plan are essential for managing heart disease effectively. Medication. There are several types of medications commonly used in the treatment of heart diseases. Here are some examples. Statins. Statin medications are used to lower cholesterol levels in the blood. They work by inhibiting the production of cholesterol in the liver, thus reducing the risk of plaque buildup in the arteries and decreasing the risk of heart disease. Beta blockers. Beta blockers help lower blood pressure and reduce the workload on the heart by blocking the effects of adrenaline. They are commonly used to treat conditions such as high blood pressure, angina, and certain heart rhythm disorders. ACE inhibitors and ARBs, angiotensin-converting enzyme, ACE, inhibitors and angiotensin receptor blockers, ARBs, are medications that relax blood vessels and lower blood pressure. They are often prescribed to treat conditions like hypertension, heart failure, and certain types of heart disease. Antiplatelet medications, antiplatelet drugs, such as aspirin or clopidogrel, help prevent the formation of blood clots by inhibiting platelet aggregation. They are commonly used in the treatment of coronary artery disease, heart attacks, and to prevent complications after certain heart procedures. Diuretics, 
diuretics, also known as water pills, help reduce fluid buildup in the body by increasing urine production. They are often prescribed to treat conditions like high blood pressure, heart failure, and certain types of edema. Antiarrhythmics. Antiarrhythmic medications are used to regulate heart rhythm and treat abnormal heart rhythms, such as atrial fibrillation or ventricular tachycardia. Anticoagulants. Anticoagulant medications, such as warfarin or direct oral anticoagulants, DOAX, help prevent the formation of blood clots. They are commonly used to treat conditions such as atrial fibrillation, deep vein thrombosis, or pulmonary embolism. It's important to note that the specific medications prescribed will depend on the individual's condition, overall health, and any other medications they may be taking. Each medication can have potential side effects and interactions, so it's essential for patients to follow their healthcare provider's instructions, report any concerns or side effects, and attend regular follow-up appointments.